Hey guys, what's going on? Let's finish up Eye of the Beholder. Let me get the music going. Okay. Yeah, I think we're on level 10? 10 out of 12? So we should be wrapping this up very shortly, depending on how how long 11 and 12 are. And if we have any issues with the final boss. <clears throat> Alright, what were we dealing with here? Driders, I believe? Yeah, the uh... No, it wasn't Driders. What was it? No, I think it was. The uh, Drow Spiders. Uh, oops. All seeing eye has not been started. There we go. All right. Where are we at? Yeah, we're on level 10. Xanathar's Outer Sanctum. So I'm guessing Xanathar is the final boss. Yeah, I think we were running into issues. This guy is paralyzed, right? He's paralyzed. All right, let's get Sean in on this. Let's also get these DOS box cycles up here. Uh, is it shift? No? Alt? No? Ah, control and F12. Got it. Yeah, let's get Sean in to remove paralysis. Okay. Oh, right, that's an AoE. That affects everybody. Got it. Okay. Move some cords around here. Uh, is the mic catching? Might be catching my fan. Yeah, it looks like it's catching my fan. Let's turn that off for now. Either that or my, uh, my filters are not working. Let me just double check that. They're on, right? Yeah, they're on. Hmm. Properties, yeah. Okay. Maybe it's just catching my keyboard. Oh, let's go through. As much as I... Do not want to go through this. Oh, right, right, right. Thrycreen. Thrycreen? Okay, we got him. All right, got to remember how to play here. Ah, he got me. Got me, and he paralyzed. Next. Damn it. Uh, this is going to be annoying. Uh, let's swap out Nyx for uh, Tagore. Whoa! Oh. Ah. What the hell? I can't move. Um, what the hell? Oh, I kind of swapped. Uh, super annoying. Let's, uh, let's go rest. How about that? Let's go rest really quick just to get these removed paralysis spells uh, up and running. This is empty. Let's just sleep it off right here. Uh, we'll keep the food. Yeah, we'll keep all of this. I don't think we have any spells to scribe. Let's just rest. Maybe paralysis will go away. Nope, I guess not. All right. All right, let's put Nyx back in there. Let's save it. All right, let's get in there. Oh. 
There we go. Two hits. That's all it takes. Ah. Not want to get trapped in a corner here. Oh, look at that backstab. <laughs> uh, I guess that's it. Okay. Something down here. No. All right, no secrets. No secrets. Hey, Polish, how are you? Oh, 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 what's attacking me? Ugh. Don't want to get paralyzed. How's it going, Polish? How have you been? I don't know about where you're at, but it is freaking hot today. God, it's hot. Thank you for the host, though. Um, yeah, level 10. We've got everything. Let's just close these doors just in case these guys respawn. I really don't want to deal with that. Let's go over to this right hand section, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Let's save it. Oof. All right. Not bad, just getting some project work done, making a light fixture. Look at you, Mr. Handyman. Oh. Damn, 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 damn. Come on, let's go. I'm ready. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Oh, he's behind me. Completely lost my sense of direction here. Come on forward. Come on forward. There we go. Now we're just gonna kill you from afar. Oh, Sean's paralyzed. What? Wait a minute, Sean's paralyzed. I can't remove Paralyze unless Sean is. <laughs> uh, I have to reload. I have to reload. Wait, do I have a do I have a potion? Maybe. Healing, extra healing, healing, sexual healing. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to cure paralysis if your cleric is down. Yeah. Ah, this game is brutal. A lot of errands these last few days, keep him busy for a change. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I've been super busy at work lately, so I'm hoping to take a class in the next week or so just to kind of break it up. Uh, yeah, let's reload. All right. There we go. Yeah, the problem with paralysis in this game is Sean is the only one that can cure it, and if he's paralyzed, well, then you're just done. Oh, shit. Damn it. This is like... <laughs> this is like unfair. It's unfair, I say. Um, let's cast Magic Missile. Ugh. Jeez. Well, luckily, Remove Paralysis is an, a group spell, so it'll affect everybody. But still, not very fair. Let's go ahead and cast. Oops. Cast. Alright. Filling out the census. Now I'm wondering if I should lift myself as a Satanist or a Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Uh, it's the Church of Optimus Prime. <laughs> But I'm sure they're all allies, in some small way. I normally just go other, if there's an other option. Shit. Ow, oh, he got me. Ow, oh, he paralyzed me! <laughs> this bastard. <sighs> this is going to be a painful level. Put him in the back for now. We can make it. 
We can make it. You're ordained in the church of the dude. That is, uh, that's awesome. Come on, come on, I'm ready. Almost there, we're almost there. Just have to kill enough of these guys that I can actually make it through. Oh, come on. Are these guys just respawning? Feels like they're respawning. Come on. Problem is, I feel like the delay in like picking up all my stuff is preventing me from making any progress through this. Because it kind of feels like they're just spawning every time I show up. Uh, but it is quiet, so maybe things are okay. Oop. Neutral poison, neutralized poison. We don't. Uh, actually, no. Let's keep that. All right, that's a dead end. Let's save it before things get hairy. Yeah, at one point I wanted to put a flying spaghetti monster uh, logo on my car. Then the more I thought about it, the more I thought, someone's probably going to key my car. <laughs> so <laughs> I decided not to advertise my religious leanings. Dead end. Let's go, actually, let's go this way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think people would appreciate it. <laughs> Especially in, I don't know how it is in Canada, but in the US, uh, pretty religious. Oh shit. Where'd he go? Yeah, pretty religious. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a, a switch over there that I missed. My boss used to have Darwin fish on all of his vehicles. Yeah, people can get stupid up here too. It's 50-50 in my state. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm in a pretty liberal state, but I don't want to take any chances. So I try to keep my political leanings and my religious leanings as ambiguous and vague as possible. <laughs> oh, Mage Scroll of Cone of Cold. I don't know if we have that spell. Let's see, Scribe? We do not. I don't know what it does, but it's a new spell, so can't be all that bad. All right, we made it out of here. Let's shit. Oh, backstab. Go. Oh. Shit. Oh, let's get out of here. Close this door and never speak of this again. Okay. We've been through all the green doors. We have that gray door to go through. I think I... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we have a... We have this gray door, which I believe means it requires a key. I'm just gonna close all these doors, actually. I don't want any wanderers. Nobody. I will keep this door as an exit strategy. Yeah. I think we have the key for this. Right? Province, province, that's right. I don't have no states besides solid, liquid, and gas. Yeah, we have states here. I don't follow politics or religion or sports. All of them are just arguments waiting to happen for me, so I just don't bother. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very, it's very easy to just categorize someone based on who they voted for, what they believe, what sports team they follow, it's kind of, it's kind of ridiculous. It's really just tribalism at its worst. All right, uh, let's try this key out. Yeah, let's try this key out. It should work. Skull key? Hell yes, hell yes. Probably more of these assholes though. Oh, well, what the hell? 
the hell was that? What the hell was that? Nice tunes, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's this, um, this artist. I, I don't know his name offhand, but he does a lot of uh, public domain stuff. The only thing he requires is that you uh, uh, annotate uh, his website and the music that you're streaming. Oh, oh, sh ah, I don't know what I did. I don't know what happened. Let me reload. I accidentally backed away when she uh, gave some dialogue. Yeah, I thought it just does not have any sort of background music, really. Uh, I'm not going to touch that. All right, let's see what happens. Shindia, suddenly realizing the odds, begs for her life. Wait, please don't kill me. Look, I know a lot and I can give you important information. I could tell you how to save the king. That's worth something, isn't it? I'm no good to you, dead. Hear her out. Anxious to stay alive, Shindia blurts her story. It's obvious you know of Xanathar's plot. He kidnapped Prince Kurgar to turn the drow and the dwarves against each other. Because we knew the king was too stubborn to brainwash, I poisoned him. The only way to revive him from his coma is with the potion that I stashed in the level below, in the Room of the Levers. Before you get any more information from... Shindia, the party is distracted by a series of dancing lights from down the corridor, far down the corridor. When the party turns back, she is gone. It works well with the game, though. My immersion thanks you. Yeah. Yeah, this music is good. It's, uh, it's like 15 or 20 different tracks, but it all kind of blends together in a, in a good way. Alright, well, I didn't let her die, and I have this little teleportation area. Or I didn't kill her. So hopefully things will be fine. 13? We'll come to that later. Scroll of remove paralysis. Scroll of remove paralysis or flame blade. Uh, I don't really need flame blade. That's kind of useless. Yeah, so I can take these uh, pink doors here to different areas of the game. Should probably save it, right? Let's save it. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you just want background noise. Yeah, yeah. These uh, older games are a little too quiet. Another wand that I'm just going to hoard. Oh! Hey, you see Prince Kurgar struggling against his bonds. He looks up at you with desperate hope. Please, you must free me. I need to return to my clan and avert the war between the dwarves and the drow. But he's poisoned, right? Free him. Prince Karagar sighs in relief. I thank thee for that timely rescue. Now I must hurry to my people to warn them of two foul traps. First, the drow community was not behind my kidnapping. It was Xanathar's minion Shendia. If my people mistakenly attack the drow in their search for me, the drow will annihilate them with superior numbers. Second, if my people continue their search for our ancestral home, they will run directly into Xanathar himself. I gather from Shintia's comments that Thanathar set up his main quarters right in the heart of our ancient city. I must find my people and stop them from attacking the drow or assaulting Xanathar. Will you accompany me, brave adventurers? Yes. Kurgar joins the party. Oh no! Is he better than... Uh, can I get him later? Let's see. No, I can't. My problem is I didn't want to get rid of Dorum because I wasn't sure what items he had. So let's reload that. Well, hold on a second. I think Dorum... Ah, he's actually okay. He has 18 strength. Versus Tagor is not so good. So let's reload the game, strip Tagor down to his skivvies, and then we'll replace him with the Prince. I think that's a good plan. Yes, I think that's a very good plan. Uh, okay, so... Uh, let's just do this. Strip all this down. Oh! What? Really? Oh, and Sean is... <laughs> Sean is paralyzed! What the hell? Come on. Where did that guy come from? Close the door. 
All right. No more interruptions. Unless there's like a secret door he's coming from. Oh, ah, damn it. There we go. Okay. Uh, all right, let's strip him down. Don't ask me why I'm keeping like five sets of armor. I just, I'm just a hoarder. I can't throw anything away. I can't help myself. All right. Give me that shield too, buddy. Man, they never asked about religion, just how many people living in the house and who. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I know for a time, at least when Trump was president, he was trying to force a citizenship question on there, which nobody liked. So thankfully that quickly got uh, shut down. All right. Free him. Yes. Uh, select the one you wish to drop. Tagor. Bye-bye. Oop. That kind of messed up my... <laughs> my auto-mapper. Let's try that again. One second, let me bring this back up. Search. Um... Uh, hmm... Well, actually, let's look at Kurgar. Ah, his stats are so good. The problem is it's looking for Tagor, and it can't find Tagor, so... I don't know if I should save it? Maybe I should save it. Uh, hold on a second. I just don't want it to break my auto-mapper, because if my auto-mapper stops working, I'm going to cry. So one second. Let me make a copy of my save game, and I'll save it, exit the game, and restart it, and the, the auto-mapper should work. In theory. Why are you keeping like five sets of armor? Don't judge me. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. I might have a party one of these days. Uh, let's copy that. Paste our save over. And then let's save it. Okay. Will that work if I just save? Yes, yes it does. Alright, let's uh, get this naked dwarf some armor. Give you a shield. Give you slicer plus three. And I think the chainmail is the best, right? You can keep the dart. Right? Armor class four. Armor class five. Okay, that can go. You can keep the, the holy symbol. Dwarven shield, armor class four. Armor class four. Guess it doesn't matter. Chainmail. Plate mail. Armor class four. Armor class five. That doesn't make any sense. Plate mail is always, always better than chain mail. If I'm remembering my D&D &D knowledge. Okay, so he said the drow were, like, invading his city. So I'm guessing Shendia lied to us? There actually is no poison? Oh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let's heal. So our prince doesn't die in the first battle. Man, these spells are garbage. <laughs> these heal spells are garbage. Garbage. They don't do anything. Look at my look how many I have to waste just to fully heal somebody. Alright, anyway, enough complaining. Night Stalker versus Slicer versus Severus. I think I have the best weapons. Uh Flame Blade, no. Huh. I'm supposed to leave something there? Cure serious, raise dead, raise dead, cure critical, remove paralysis. I'm just gonna put something there. Neutralize. Does that do anything? I guess not. 
No, that didn't do anything. Give me that back. Oh, everyone needs food. There we go. Okay, we have the prince. Let's go through this door. And then figure out where that teleport goes to. Oh, no. He's not moving. Does that mean he's friendly? Nope, he's not friendly. Ah, he got me. Damn it. Oh. Paralysis. Annoying, but not really as annoying as getting poisoned on the second level. Poison can kill you. Paralysis, I can cure. Uh, another dagger. Sure. I'll swap out. Potion of poison? Okay, maybe I can throw that at somebody? Oh! go to the right of you. That's the nice thing. Okay. Oh, we got space. Cure critical. This flame blade. I don't really need it. Is that it? I think that's it. What did, what did that do? I don't know what that did. Yeah, I don't know what that did. There's somebody walking around though. Here, I have a flame blade. Okay. Save. Is there anywhere else we haven't been in this map? There is a hole in that room. I don't even know how to get to that room, actually. Maybe going up a floor. But let's check out the teleporter. Yeah. Um. Actually, let's see where this takes us first. that do? I don't even know. Yeah, alright, well we're doing it. This would be super confusing if I didn't have a map. I guess kind of make sure they're all down. Okay. So the switches determine how far along I go. Okay. Um, this is going to be confusing. Oop, I did something. Oh, did I make it? I made it. Victory! Ooh, plate mail. Uh, actually, who has the best strength? 1892 strength versus 1829. Sorry, Dorm. Hey, Sean. What's up, man? Stairs going up, which is weird. Oh, 
Oh, that just fixed everything. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So you only have to do the teleport puzzle once. That's good. I thought that was myself for a second. <laughs> my dog does that, actually. As he's walking upstairs, he farts and it scares him. Where does this take us? Raised dead. Another raised dead scroll. Okay, so this is not where we need to be. Alright, so my guess is since we have the Prince of Dwarves here, we have to bring him back. So it's whatever the empty space is, is what you need to use. Uh, so what would that one, second one from the top, that would be this. Well, let's save it first, because I don't really remember where these saves go, or where these teleports go. Actually, let's rest, I think. Yeah, let's rest. Get all our spells back. So I'm guessing since we saved the prince, the dwarves are going to be under attack when we get in there. Where did that take us? The drought outcast level. I don't think that's necessarily where we need to go, so let's go back. Oops. Or can we not go back? No, oh, we can't go back. Oh, let's reload. I want to see where that other portal goes. What do I need? Do I have it? A ring? Do I have a ring? I do. Dwarf area? Bottom level of the dwarf ruins. I think this is where I need to go. So I just need to go back upstairs. All right, Dwarven Ruins and Camp. Uh, how do I get out of here? There we go. Uh, Dwarven Ruins are in the center. How do I get rid of that? Um, actually, I can just go around. Yeah, I can just go around. Actually, does that turn it off? Nope. We're back. We have your prints. The dwarves rejoice at the return of their prince. Warriors and the clerics surround the prince. Armin turns to you. Beyond hope, you have returned with Prince Kurgar. How can we possibly thank you? They wish information on ways to surface, Kurgar interrupts. Lore has it there is an ancient throne room about seven levels down. In the, in the throne room, there is a secret door in the north wall. The door opens to a long underground passageway, which should take you to the lands just east of Waterdeep. Prince Kurgar says, there must be some other way I can repay you for bringing me back to my people. The least I can do is continue to help you in your quest against Anathar. Good. Good, good, good. Because if he just ran off with my equipment, I would not be happy. Hey, bud. Is that it? Is that all I get out of this? Yeah, that's all I get out of this. Uh, okay. Well, let's, uh... Ooh, heal party? Yeah, heal me. I'll take that. An exhausted dwarven cleric rubs his eyes and tells you to come back after he's rested. Oh, uh, okay, so you can't just spam it. There is... Oops, there is this door here. 
that has like whatever this is. I think it's maybe like a scepter or something? Scepter Kingly Might? I remember something in this area saying uh it required something. Let's see, is it this? Uh well hold on, let's save. Let's save. Hope I can get out of this. Oh, that does not work. There we go. Where does this take us? This takes us in a drow territory. Which I don't like. I also don't have a very good way of getting back downstairs all the way. So I could just rough it. Oh, uh, could. I could, I could, I could. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember an easy way to get back down. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, uh, there's someone behind me. Yeah, there's someone behind me. Oh, no, there isn't. I don't know who there is. I can't tell. Oh, just stairs. Alright, what is the easiest way to get back to where I was at? Grab all my stuff. Pick up all my toys, clean up after myself. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, Kurgar. There we go. All right, do we remember how to get through here? Save. Uh, we can just try some things. What do we have? What can we use? From level 8 down to what? I guess I should probably write down where each of these locations takes us. Level 10. Nice. Perfect. Exactly where we wanted to be. I wonder if that's like code for like level 10 or level 8. Who knows? Okay. Um, we need to get down to level 11. How do we do that? We have that pit in the middle there. So I think I need to go up a floor. Yeah, I think I need to go up a floor. Save it. Cause we gotta fight more Thrykreen. Thrykreen? Thrykreen? Where are you at? I hear you. Let's just get it over with. All these doors are closed. What is this actually? Got buttons everywhere. Oh! Oh. Oops. That was stupid. Let's reload that. I forgot about that. That's just a trap. Okay. Uh, yeah. We gotta find a way to drop to level 11. So I think if we go this way... Ow! 
Damn it. Make it, gotta make it. Is it this? No, no, that's completely pointless. Took me absolutely nowhere. How do I drop? How do I drop down there? Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any, any pits. How do we get down to level 11? Alright, this is level 10. How did we get there? That little section right here. Hole in the floor. How did we get there? I've obviously been there. Let me think. Um, let me look at the map again. Yeah. So it looks like that middle section there would be a, uh, a pitfall. So let's go back up to level 9. Get out of here without getting into a fight. Shit. Ah, he got me. Dick. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I hate this place. I hate this place. Close the door. Never come back. Okay, from here... We should be able to get to that hole in the floor. And I don't think there's any enemies here. I mean, there's drow, but I don't think they're going to attack me. Yeah. At least I hope not. Uh, keep going up. I do hear movement. So there are enemies here. If I go up here. No, that's useless. No, that doesn't work. Uh, yes, all the way down here. There might be some hellhounds. So this is where I should be able to fall. It's all this madness. <gasps> I left stuff? Oh no. Yeah. Hmm. This should be where I can, where I should be able to go. Oh! Going somewhere. All right, that was a secret passage to nowhere. That was weird. Why is this corner... Why is this corner a secret corner? I don't get it. Um... Hmm... Lock. Nope, that's not. Maybe I have to like run? Yeah, this is weird. Why does this corner exist? Oh, oh shit. 
you one more yeah okay so it looks like there's a section here for me to go through but there's not uh what did the dwarves say a long corridor leading somewhere i think that's what they said Yeah, let me go back downstairs. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. If I can't find it upstairs, I will probably look up the solution. Since I am backtracking like crazy right now. don't remember. Alright, we're on floor 10. Yeah, I'm just looking and I don't... I don't see any way down. Yeah, I don't see any way downstairs. Got two places going upstairs. Actually, three. Three places going upstairs. And that is... That is it. My guess is maybe there's a teleporter that I need to use to get there. Yeah, I'm closing this door. I don't want to fight you. Yeah, let me uh let me look this up really quick. I guess I'm missing like a secret wall or something. Yeah, probably a secret wall. Oh, let's see. Level 11. Oh, let's see. Northwestern part lies a but no. When you enter a hall with teleports, enter the first and then step back, they'll disappear. If you find levers, pull them once or twice to enter a room with a with a hole. This hole is the only way to enter level eleven. Oh. Okay, so I just need to reset the teleporters. That's my guess. No? Um, no, that wasn't helpful. Let's see. Uh, okay, no, it doesn't really, uh, <laughs> it doesn't really expand too much on that. It just says pull levers until you enter the, the room with the hole in it. Let's try this again. Let's do another guide. Let's see. Three doors you pass. Continue backtracking, ignoring the first turn off. Navigate the corridor as it bends to the right. You're almost there. You'll find a lever hidden to the right as you head back in that direction. Pull this one twice to open a hidden wall across from it. Uh. Okay. So it's a hidden something. Or rather... Let's go back. Actually, let's just pull all the all the switches. Nope, that didn't do anything. What does this one do? Uh, 
Oh, that didn't do anything. Uh, let's go over to that door, or to that area. Sounds like they're saying there's a secret uh, lever nearby. Alright, save it. Uh, we're gonna have to fight stuff. I hate it. Ah! And of course, of course, that first hit. First hit paralyzes. There should be something over here. Make sure the coast is clear. Yeah, a hidden lever. No? Hmm. Maybe over here in the corner? Let me see what it says. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong area. Oh, let's see. Third path is one we definitely want to take. So the left and straight. Third path is to the right. Leads to Prince Kurgar. Yep. Back out of the room, then backtrack a long way to go through the skull door. The three doors you pass through. Go through the skull door. Three doors you pass through. All right, so they're saying not to go here. I hear so much movement. Oh, sneak attack. Okay. Back out of the room and then backtrack a long ways. Go through the skull door, which I think is probably this door. No. No. Go through the skull door. Maybe it's this one. Maybe this one was a skull door. No. It's a regular door, right? The skull door is actually the one I use the key on, which should be this one. Okay. Go through the skull door. The three doors you pass through to the left of that. Three doors that you pass through. Um, then make the next right. Continue backtracking, ignoring the first. See the, the way this, the way this FAQ reads. Uh, the guy's not using an auto mapper, <laughs> so that's on me. Navigate this corridor and follow it as it bends to the right. You're almost where you came in now. Uh, let's go back to where I came in. All right, this is where I came in from. We'll find a lever hidden to the right as you head back in that direction. Pull this one twice to open a hidden wall across from it. I mean, I hear movement. Hmm. I do not see. So if I take this off, the door closes, right? Yeah. Unless it's through here? Shouldn't be anything here. Oh, let's see. Hidden to the right. Pull this one twice to open up a hidden wall across from it. That I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. Uh, let's see. 
on what level are we on? Level 10? Okay. Oh, is it right there? Oh, it's right there. 38 and 39. Pull the lever twice. Okay. All right. I see where, what I did wrong. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So we got to go back through this awfulness. <laughs> um, let's, let's heal up. Yeah, so it is right next to the room. Rest. Yes. Then we can put Kurgar back up front and head down. We'll rest for 70 hours or however long this takes. All right. Save. Yeah, I wonder what some of these other NPC characters that you could raise the dead on would, uh, what they entail. They mentioned a paladin and a ranger. Let's go. I'm ready. Ah! <laughs> Ah, man, they're so fast. They're so fast. Yeah, I hope the sequel does not include this mechanic anymore. Cause I could do it without getting paralyzed multiple times. Here, this is where it's at. There we go. So I don't. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I actually did this <laughs> last stream and completely forgot how I did it. So, you know. Jump. Yeah, I said I would come back and then promptly forgot how to do it. Good job, me. All right, we're down. Level 11. End game coming up. It just opens up one after the other. Um, I wonder what's in this level. Okay, nothing closes. Just all circles around. What is this considered? Xanathar's outer sanctum slash lower reaches. Just complete it out. Yeah, it's just one big pyramid, I'm assuming. Let's map it out first. Yep, that's it. That is literally it. What does this do, though? What does this do? Oh. It's just doing anything. Uh, it's not even doing anything. Maybe I have to take the portal. I probably have to take the portal. Um. Uh, oh, what was up there? What was up there? Uh. Do I have it? I don't think I have it. Oops. No. Oops. I must be missing something. Uh... 
am I missing? <laughs> what am I missing? I'm guessing I need to hit these things in order. Maybe I need to line them up. Yeah, let's try lining them up. Kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, let's try it. There we go. Ha ha! I used my brain power. Thought you might be playing a Star Wars game today. No, we're going to continue uh, Eye of the Beholder 2 after this. Uh, Star Wars game? It's actually been a while since I played a Star Wars game. I mean, I did KOTOR 2, I did Dark Forces, Jedi Knight 1, and part of Jedi Knight 2. I just wasn't a huge fan of the uh, first person shooters. Air movement. Something heavy this way comes. Alright. Dead end, potentially. Should save. Let's save it. Doors. Oh, it's a rust monster. Or maybe not a rust monster, maybe like a a demon or something. At least he's slow. Did I kill him? I killed him. There we go. Uh, let's close this door for now and let's clear out this area before I get stuck. Yep, like that. Oops. This is, but I'm gonna kill it. Or I'm gonna try to kill it. Is that it? Okay. All right, yeah, let's clear this area out. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, at least they don't come this way. No, they don't. Oh, I can do this all day. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Hold on a second. Ah! There we go. This one gonna come too? Yes, he is. Exploiting the AI. I know, I feel bad, but I don't feel too bad. Something's gonna hit me from behind anyway, probably, right? Nope. If we stop missing, we might actually be able to kill something. 
<laughs> Even with these magical weapons. What level is Kurgar? Level 5 versus all my other guys are like level 7, level 8. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Probably save it. Did I open this door? Or did that door open on its own? Follow me? Yes, they are. Oh! Ow. Lost my way for a second there. Thought there was a second one, too. Sidious gained a level. Uh, let's save it outside here. <clears throat> Alright, let's let's open up these doors. Let's see what's what's back here. A rock. A slimy rock. Probably useful. Raise dead. And what's here? Another door. Switch. Uh, let's save it and then we'll pop all these switches. Gave me a wand and a dwarven healing potion and a cure serious wounds. I mean, I'm okay with that. Maybe like a different combination will do something? No. Alright, let's go through this, this hellscape. Killing these rock monsters or whatever they are. That's a dead end. Okay. A door. Room of the key. Is there a door that we... Oh, the stone orb. I have the final piece. Oh, I can probably use that on the portal in the middle. Yeah. Yep. I think that's it. On to the final level. There's nothing back here, right? Nope. Nothing. Here we go. Save it.
No? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. What did I miss? Oh, I still have a key, right? A drow key. Uh... How do I get... Let me just look. What am I missing here? Oh, you know what? I'm guessing I have to line up everything else, right? There we go. Yeah, okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a mind flare? Oh, fuck this. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me get out of here. Close this door. <laughs> he just paralyzed three of my guys all at once. I don't know how I'm going to defeat this guy without just running and gunning. All right, well, let's try it. Where is he at? Oop! Oh! Well, that was easy. Rope. Don't need it. Freaking mind flares. Are you kidding me? Alright, I just have to stay out of range. Oh, I don't like this. Okay. And they're so, so quiet, too. Chwat. What does that mean? What did that do? Oh, crap. Please don't be anything behind me. Ah, two doors. Before we do that, let's go through this door. Hopefully, hopefully mine players do not spawn randomly. to like kite these guys oh. he's coming Kite you from here. I can hit you. Hey. Okay. Supposed to press something? Oh, Jesus. That is impossible to notice. Orb of power. So we have an orb of power and we have a key. For a 
Yet unknown door. Okay, two doors here. Let's go to the bottom one. One of you? Yes. And nothing here. What level are we? Level 7. I feel like we are gaining XP at like a crawl here. corner. Okay. Ooh. Stone holy symbol. We're running out of room. A spell book. Some bracers. Armor class 3 makes it armor class 1. Can I put it on someone up front? Armor class negative 2 becomes armor class negative 4. Ooh, that's good. Do armor class 0 for you. Got a ring. Guess you're getting a ring, sir. Some human bones. Let's get rid of this stuff. As much as I feel like I'm going to use it, I'm not. A Flicka Dagger. I can go to Lucidius. Just a regular old robe. Let's see what happens here. My scribe. I memorize. Is it just a regular old spell book? I guess so. Maybe the human bones is another wizard, but I don't really need him. Uh, let's rest. Does anybody need to eat? Go ahead and just create food. Spells. Nope. What about you, Nyx? Can you? Too low level. No. Alright, let's just rest. So we have one other door to go through. But, like, the whole left side of the map. Probably gonna be a door back there. And that'll get us to level 12. Mind flares, let's go. Gotta make sure I don't lose that. All right, so we have two keys now. All right, this section's done. Oh. 
Okay. Where's the key? I have a key. Oh, which way do we go? South. Nope. Okay. All right, doors everywhere. Hmm. Oh, well, it is warping me. Okay. That is different. Oh, yeah. This would be uber confusing. If I didn't have a map. Holy crap. I guess this is where I need to be. Oh. Medallion. Get you some jewelry, Kurgar. Ray's dead. Okay, sure. Ah, uh, now the mage can hold monster. Alright, let's get out of here. That was confusing. Nobody? Nobody here. This feels like BS. have a key for this, but let's clear out the area first. Just one big room. Yep. What awfulness is back here? Let's see. Oh, yep. I should not have poked my head in. Thought I could, uh, be faster. Come on. Okay. Did he drop anything? No. Oh, uh, this portal probably takes me... So the final level, let's explore this last door. is clear yes oh just another way in Hey, Kurgar! Good job, buddy. That's it. That is it for this level. Alright, let's save it. 
I'm guessing the orb is what we have to use, right? Yeah. Oh, you know what? We haven't been to... Before we do that... There's one final little section here. Let's go search that. Just in the interest of being a completionist. There's this section here. What's back here? What do we have here? Banded armor? I don't think that's better than what I have. Negative two versus... Oh! What? Banded armor is better than plate mail? That doesn't make any sense. Unless dexterity plays a, uh, a role. Slasher plus four. Kinda like that. We'll give that to uh, Kurgar. And then I don't know who we're going to give this to. Dorum, I guess? Sure. Save. Yeah, once we get to Eye of the Beholder 2, we can identify all this stuff and find out what's actually best. Oh, we got a ring. Here you go. Yeah, because right now I have no idea what any of this jewelry does, or any of these wands. What spells they do, outside of just using them. Trial and error. Where does this go, though? Where does that go? Getting back up top. Alright, we're done here. we can save. Um, what about the plate mail? Can I give it to... Oh, they both have plate mail. Dora, maybe? Nope, he has plate. Sean? Sean has banded armor. We'll just keep it. Alright, we're going through. Level 12, here we go. The music oddly matches. Smells of smoke. Ah, okay. That every square? Nope. Nope, only one. Oh! Oh, I hit it multiple times. <laughs> I have this nasty habit of double clicking. I do it in Dark Souls too, I'll double tap a button and I'll end up dodging twice. Oops, that's, that is not. That is not the orb that I need. Let's try that again, without killing ourselves. I do like that animation. It doesn't say it reeks of smoke, so I probably should have thought of that. Turn back, no trespassing. I guess I should get spells ready, right? Fireball, Ice Storm. You were warned. Oh. Is that? Is that Xanathar? Oh. 
Oh no, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Gotta get out of here. Oh, nice. Where's he at? Nice. Oh, we have key. Guessing we'll need that. Uh, maybe save? Let's save. They didn't actually hurt us. Which was surprising. I gotta remember, there's two of them. Let's close the door on you. <laughs> yeah, way easier to hit. That's not good. Yep, yeah, so I'm stuck. Two doors. I guess this. No one's able to pry the door open. Okay, I guess I'm going through this door. Let's see where this leads us. Another necklace. Anyone else not have any jewelry? A filthy rock. <laughs> Extra healing. A helmet. Don't need that. Potion. Another helmet. Why are they handing out helmets? A ruby key? Am I running out of room again? I feel like I'm running out of room. There is so much stuff. There's so much stuff. I'm getting rid of all the scrolls. Don't need a third dagger. Bracers. Give to my front guard here. A dart. <coughs> I feel like this is all the stuff I lost throughout the game. A skull key. Yeah, this feels like everything I've lost. Cure critical. Dagger. What is this? Why is there so much stuff? Flicka? This doesn't make any sense. It's never ending. Is it glitching? Uh, let's drop the chainmail. Um, it keeps... I feel like it's... it's just... it's... It keeps regenerating. Yeah, this doesn't feel like it's ending. It might have been... it might be glitched. Stone orb. I already have one. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold on a second. What is it doing? Hey, free stuff? Yeah, free stuff, but... It just keeps coming. Um, I don't know what's going on. It, it's, it looks like it's recycling my stuff, too. Yeah, it's recycling my stuff. Don't need the darts. Yeah. It's just pulling stuff out of my inventory. Yeah. Uh, let me reload that. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, why? Why is my... my dagger... 
doing this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I wonder if it's because of the mod I'm using. Yeah, I'm not touching that. This is ridiculous. Do I need that key, though? Maybe I need the key. Uh, the all-seeing eye. That, uh, that auto-mapper in the corner? That's a mod someone created for this game. This game does not have a map built in. Key. Actually, before we do that, let's go back through here. Yeah, this mod works for all three Eye of the Beholder games, actually. Uh, let's press the button. Okay, so that warps me. Oh. Ugh. Oh, I can see how this level would be a huge pain in the ass. I'm trying to figure out where you're at. Yeah, let me just say I'm glad I'm using this mod. Actually, let's go through the first one. Actually, where does this take me? Back? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go through the, the door first. Oh, what? So I gotta use a key again? Maybe I need to stay there in order to uh, loot that room. Yeah, I might need to do that. Yep. Let's see what happens. I have two keys, so technically I have two chances. Ow, that hurt. Not too bad. Okay. All my arrows. All my arrows. All my daggers. Oh, there's another one. Ooh. Okay. Uh, where's my flicker dagger at? That's what I want to know. Oh, what is this? Potion of Vitality. Ocean invisibility. I don't need any of this. There it is. All right, what was so important back here? Just throw it across. That way I don't need to use a key. I don't think this stuff breaks. That's it, right? 
Nothing to press. Yeah. Nothing here. Okay, well that was kind of pointless. Huh. Alright. I cannot go through this door just yet. This button right here. Oop. Save it. Oh, what does this do? Oh. Lots of secret doors. What does this say? Stone for substance, potion for strength, sphere for animation. Can I drop a stone here. Potion for strength. Giant strength. Sphere for animation. It took my stuff. And what did I get out of it? Oh! Well, that's not cool. Now I'm stuck in a corner. Oh, no more magic missile. Hmm. Alright, uh, why did I give up that stuff? Potion for strength, stone for substance. So if I press the button again, what happens? Nothing. It ate my items. I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah, I ate my items. Alright, well let's continue on, I guess. on something. What does that do? Oh lord. More buttons. Sphere of power. Or orb of power, excuse me. Oh, I knew something was going to hit me. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Jesus. I need to rest before I hit this other button. Let's create some food. And then rest. Damn, that hurt. Damn, that hurt. Okay. Where is Xanathar at? May the 4th be with you. Happy Star Wars Day, Nixt. What's going on? We are on the last level. Last level. And thank God for an auto mapper, because there's lots of little teleports going on here. Oop. Potion of speed, okay. Don't know what I'm going to use that for. Oh, 
I do not like how how the doors close behind me. It makes me feel a little trapped. Oh shit! Is this it? So, despite my trapped you petty hirelings of the Lords of Waterdeep managed to make it here after all. How unfortunate for you. How sad for me as well. I enjoyed immensely watching you fight my minions and stumble through my traps. Of course I'm responsible for creating the traps, just as I am responsible for creating the plan that will bring all of Waterdeep under my absolute control. You of course cannot be allowed to interfere. With my brilliant plan, surrender to me now, and perhaps I will grant you mercy. Never trust a beholder. I the beholder too. Next, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, all right, let's kill him. Ooh. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he switches. So he changes it up. Most monsters go to the right. I can't even... <laughs> I can't even use my, uh... Uh, my book fast enough. Hold on, I'm gonna use my fireballs. Here we go. Boom! I wanna use all my cool spells that I never used. Ugh. He's just, he's just so fast. Oh! That hit me? I'm gonna do Kona Cold. Boom. Smite this chump. <laughs> that didn't do anything. Ice Storm. Oh, that hurt, that hurt me. I think, I'm guessing he's reflecting everything back on me. So spell's probably not that great. Mm. Yeah, this dude moves around randomly. I am missing like crazy. You can probably do magic missile though, right? Yeah. Hey! As the party picks through the remains of Xanathar's shattered body, a teleporter triggers about them. As Xanathar's lair fades from view, everyone prepares for battle and thinks, what now? A stately marbled room fades in around the party. Two stone columns flank a large throne. Sunlight streams in through the windows. Clean air blows in from an open door. This is Pergeron? Per Pergeron's public hall. At last, the party is free from the dungeons under Waterdeep. You have killed Xanathar and saved Waterdeep from his evil. Pergeron Paladinson exclaims. We were wise to pick such talented and resourceful adventurers as our agents. For today, let thee be proclaimed the heroes of Waterdeep, and let all know of your brave deeds. Congratulations on your successful quest. Is that it? Well, that was all of a sudden. <laughs> like, the game just quit. <laughs> that was it. GG. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was abrupt. It's like, congrats, auto quit. Yep, took me about 11, 11 and a half hours.